An adult male hippo can be 11 feet long, 5 feet tall at the shoulder, and weigh 7,000 pounds. Their main weapons are their teeth. These canines are over a foot long and weigh almost 2.5 pounds. The inner edges of the canines sharpen themselves as they grind together. Despite those sharp teeth, the hippo is a vegetarian. These heavyweight mammals are the most dangerous animals in Africa. Eleven feet long and weighing 700 pounds, the bull shark is the pit bull terrier of the shark world. They also have the highest recorded testosterone level of any other animal. While you may think the great white shark is the baddest shark there is, you're wrong. The bull shark is blamed for more human deaths than any other species of shark. And if you think sharks only live in the ocean, think again. The bull shark is also happy in a freshwater lake or river, which is part of the reason why they kill more people than any other shark. They might even be found in American rivers. However, the Zambezi River is where the shark will meet the hippo in a fight to the death. Now it's time for the face-off. A male hippopotamus is resting in a river from a fight with another male. He has a deep gouge on his back. Nearby, the smell of blood attracts a hungry bull shark who is homing in for lunch. The scene is set for an encounter between two of Africa's most deadly creatures. <coughs>
How did the hippo win this face-off? Drawn by the smell of blood, the shark begins the attack with an exploratory bump. This hippo is definitely food, so the shark tries to get in some bites. But the hippo's size, combined with its massive girth, is too much for the smaller shark. The shark goes for the tail, which is an easy target, but obviously not enough to fill the shark's stomach. The skin around the flank of the hippo also turns out to be too tough for our shark. The hippo doesn't know what bit him, but all that temper lights a fire in his belly. When the hippo begins his counterattack, the tide turns. The shark's head easily fits into the hippo's open jaws, and the shark is impaled by those foot-long canines. The shark is history. A true David and Goliath face-off. Only this is the animal world. The big guy won. Unlike the animal face-off, David trusted God to help him bring down the giant, something the shark, being an animal, couldn't do. Next time, we will see which African heavyweight really rules the plains when elephant and rhinoceros go head to head. Thank you.